I think I'm live. Is this true? I don't know. <laughs> so this is like my little reading area, but it's kind of operating as a temporary shooting room. Can you guys hear me? I don't know. Maybe I need my headphones. I'm not sure. Okay. It's hard. <laughs> Let me see if I can open up the... Just want to make sure that it's on. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi, C. Merid. Oh, thanks, Bernard. Okay. Yeah, I can't tell. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done a live before. I I have a lot of like anxiety kind of like interacting. So it, it's like something that I really held back on for a long time, but I felt like I could try it out now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but cool. Okay. So I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm. This is actually going to be the second read for me. I've read this I think it was like a year ago, maybe a little more. And at the time it was, it was kind of a, a weird read for me. Um, I really love the first chapter. I think the first chapter is, I don't know, it's just something that I thought was really awesome and well done and just, it's perfect for the season as well. Um, but it did struggle a little bit with the book. So it's gonna be cool to see where we go with this. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys, though, was, um, I don't know if anyone saw it, but I, like, posted it on, um, Instagram and TikTok, but I actually made, like, one of these, um, little shadow boxes that you get for Halloween. Hi, <laughs> hi, Ryan. Hi, Amy. <laughs> I want to share a comment real quick. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I saw that you had a live too. And yeah, it's been really busy. And I wanted to pick your brain a little bit more about StreamYard and everything, but I got so distracted. Um, but thanks for popping in and saying hi. Hope you have a good night. Um, and do I turn this off? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's super cute. Um, and it kind of just really got me in the mood for like Halloween and everything. Um, so yeah, I can't wait until I get the basement done. And I can have kind of this feel, this vibe right here and make this into my haunted house kind of thing, but whatever, okay. the the box um i don't the series is called secret garden and i think it's just like they just do like um they're just like making different themes like they have another one that's like a piano and like a musical kind of setting where like the music is kind of flowing off um and it's not even like a halloween box they just they call it a dark castle night specter shadow box i don't know but it's really really cute don't want to catch anything on fire okay yeah um okay so i don't really know so i decided we should probably do like 25 minutes of reading and then take a break and then do another 25 minutes and we can then talk a little bit about what you guys think and what you guys are feeling about this one. I, I feel like this is definitely one of those books that people really like this one or they don't like this one. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think. I don't know, should I start now? I don't, I don't know what to do, you guys. <laughs> I, I feel so bad, like I should have done more research, but work has just been so intense and killing me. You know what? Thanks so much for just stopping by. That's so nice. Yeah, thank you.
um, <laughs> um, I feel so fish out of water type thing. I don't know what to do at this moment. I don't know if you guys want to start reading right away or I do. I do have a countdown clock. It's a little cat and I kind of made it like Halloween themed. I don't know exactly how to add it to the screen, but let me see if I can try. But I don't, I don't know how actually. Does anyone know how to like share a screen? <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's sort of a, uh, it's like you get one and you have to keep getting them. And I blame the covers mostly because they're just so attractive and like they, they're so moody and atmospheric and they just look really good in your library, you know? <laughs> okay, you got it, Hannah. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm just gonna put the timer on in the background and I have music ready to play. Um, so we can just go ahead and start. So just read whatever you can read. This timer is set and I will put some music on. I'll click the share button at the bottom. Okay. Share screen, then add a tab. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, but now I can't see anything else. Ah, yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. L2, L20 Kev. Thank you. Okay, let's start. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, if you just start wherever you are, it's totally fine. Okay, let me put some music on. Hello, Amy's husband. I haven't talked to you in a minute. Thanks for coming by. All right. Thank you. 
Okay. I didn't know that the alarm would be a cat meow. It's so cute. Let's see. Hi, Flores de Mall. <laughs> Oh man, I love I love these beginning chapters. They're just so cool. <laughs> you know, I always thought about like um doing that, but I don't know if anyone or how many people would actually like that. <laughs> Where your cat's like, ooh, I better stop reading now. <laughs> Man, 25 minutes goes by really, really fast. Thanks. I I have to admit, I'm a little bit of a, a narrator ham. I really like reading out loud. <laughs> yeah. It it literally sounded like a real cat. Like I thought it was a real cat. I was like <laughs> I feel like um I I would love to like actually like reenact these first chapters cuz I love this character Remy. Really. I like to do chores while listening. I know most people do other things while listening to their Audible. It wouldn't sound like a good idea. I definitely do chores um, and cleaning and stuff when I'm listening to Audible. Like, I feel like it's the most productive I ever am cleaning <laughs> so if I'm listening to Audible. I can't really do it watching a movie because it's like you have to, I just end up standing there and watching it. But yeah, I, I definitely do that. <laughs> yeah it, it definitely it, it shocked me and I think it would shock me every time because <laughs> it just sounds so real I don't know how they did it but it sounds like it's in their room with you yeah I thought it was actually I thought I thought that too I was like this is like the perfect music for this story you know that piano music so I'm glad it was just I mean, I picked it because it's like the song that I love the most. So I always put it on the videos, but it's really good for reading. <laughs> She's relatable, rational, but down for an adventure. Are you thinking about Remy? I think, I think Remy is like so cool. I was able to pick up the Carol Hunt for my library just in time for this stream off to a fun start. That's awesome. Thanks for being here. I like it. Just started channel four when the cat meowed <laughs> or chapter four, channel four, <laughs> chapter four when the cat meowed. Is there a schedule in general for the read along? Uh, no, there's no schedule, but we could make one. I mean, if you guys are into that, I, I would be totally willing to, you know, do it every week. Um, just let me know. Absolutely. Like, like the description of her with that long black dress and like, she's like, kind of like, you know, overperforming and, and just being a real like, you know, thespian about it. It's so it's so cool. Like, I want that job. Okay, the cat is gonna meow. <coughs> Let's read.
<laughs> the cat scared me. I don't know why the, <laughs> the cat scared me so much. Um, okay, so I made it to page 38, which I think is chapter six. Um, so what do you guys think? I'm just going back to the chat right now. Um, Yeah, I really, really enjoy that part too. And I just love the way that she like shares it. It's just so fun. Hey, Christy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Ryan, so relaxing. It is relaxing, right? Lady of Thrills, I'm on chapter four and I'm as creeped out as the guest. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, I. hi, Anthony. Um, I feel like these like, this whole setup is just so, so cool. Like this house just sounds so fascinating. It almost makes me think a little bit about um, Holmes, you know, the serial killer, um, H.H. Holmes, because he had that hotel where he would kill people in. It kind of makes me think about that a little bit. I like her writing style, everything in, is in a perfect balance. Yeah, it, it's like the humor and the, like the spookiness. Um, it's, it's, it's just really well done, like, and also to like the setting, you know. I'm on page 37. I love it. it. Reminds me a bit of one of the American horror stories. Yeah, that's a good point. It definitely does have that vibe. And I would love to see this <laughs> as an American horror story series. That'd be good. That's okay. I'm sure the music <laughs> played in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Roanoke. I really liked Roanoke. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like that one, but I really liked it. I thought it was cool. Right? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I mean, I think, because I was thinking, like, what serial killer, like, kills in the place that he lives? Um, and it's definitely Holmes. <laughs> I think he's the only one that, oh, no, there was also Ed Gein, right? Like, he did, too. Thank you. I have a, a green light on this side. And it's, like, my favorite thing now. It's, like, green on the wall. It just looks, it just looks so fun. <laughs> I like how each room is a different story. That would be a great setting for an anthology. Hmm. Yeah, I love those too. Like when it's like a hotel or something and each room has its own sordid mystery or, <laughs> or murder or something. I love those. Instead of reading, I'm doing an essay while you are all reading, and it's been so relaxing. My book club is about to read Hunted by Darcy Coates. Out. Nice. Yeah, I haven't I haven't read Hunted, um, but I did read a different one of hers that I really liked. It was like the, oh man, I can't remember. It's something about in the woods. It, it was really good. I can't remember what it was called. I'll have to like look it up. But that's awesome. I like to do those type of things too. Like I'll put on all different types of lives of anything like ASMR, like whatever, and I'll just do other stuff. Um, the music, this song is called Falling Rain and it's just from the YouTube library actually. Like 
they don't have like a ton of good songs, <laughs> but this one was really nice. <laughs> so yeah, you can just, you can like download it for free. It's one of the things I like to do when I'm reading is I, I like to put on like the like, you know, dark academic uh, music playlist or something or a uh, thunderstorm with piano music. Like when I'm struggling to read, that really helps me. So I definitely like having music. And he only killed like two people, but he did a ton of grave robbing. He had human bones all over his house. Then who am I thinking of? That's it. Ed, is Ed Gein the clown guy? Or am I wrong? Because I felt like, didn't he lure back like young boys to his home and had them under the floorboards? Or I'm thinking of somebody else, maybe. I layered it with a dark academia, academia library ambience video. Great combo with the music. Yeah, I can imagine that it probably just seamlessly like layers with that. I love those playlists. Dahmer was too, yeah. I haven't watched that Netflix um, movie. I feel like I'm not really into like the, I mean, I like, I, I love watching the documentaries, but I feel kind of weird about watching like movies about it. John Wayne Gacy. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's who I was thinking of. I hope you may consider to try reading aloud in the future. All right. I definitely will. I feel like you guys are definitely, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, guessing me up maybe, I don't know, but um, giving me some confidence to do that. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to feel like, I don't know, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, whatever. Okay, I, I'll definitely do it because it, it sounds, it's, I'm a ham. I'm a, I'm a narrator ham, so I would love it. We should do playlists for books like wine pairing. Well, actually I do have um, a playlist on my channel where it's, you know, playlists and music are music for, you know, listening to that, like kind of like, they're not really music though. It's like ambiances uh, for reading. So like you can have a haunted house ambiance and you can read to that or rain or whatever. Um, yeah. I collect them all there. So if you want to check them out, Makes me want to watch Dead Files again. I watched that a couple months ago. Now I want to continue. I love Dead Files. It is such a cool premise. I'm like, I don't care if it's real or it's not real. I don't care. It is just like so fun and so cool and so creepy. And I just, I just love it. Pairing a Brooklyn cop, an ex Brooklyn cop with this uh, medium. It's just so fun. Okay, John, have a nice shower. <laughs> you got a career in narrating? I wish. I wish. You have the perfect voice to narrate spooky books. I would I would just love it so much. I really would. I don't like I I mean I've never done it professionally, obviously, and I'm sure it's like much harder than it seems. Um, like everything. But it would be cool. Maybe I could like start off with short stories or something, you know, it would be fun. And easy, <laughs> easier. I love this reading sprint. It's helpful to have a scheduled reading time. And if the group wants to, a schedule for working through the book would be nice. Yeah, I mean, um, if if you guys like, if I'm understanding correctly, I'm kind of a dumb dumb when it comes to stuff, but um. If you mean like having a schedule like every week, if this time works for you guys, we can schedule another one for next week for the same time, same place. <laughs> if that sounds good to you guys, I'll post it in the community tab and you guys can tell me what you think.
Yeah, the hundred whispers thing that we did. Oh my god, it was so long ago. That's true. Yeah, that was fun. Oh man, you're missing out. So like I said, it's like an ex Brooklyn cop. So he's like, he's all Brooklyn, you know, he's like, <laughs> he's just like, you know, all like, you know, just kind of like that, like not no business, but like, he's just down to business, right? No nonsense type of guy. And then they paired him up with this younger woman who she's a medium and she's like pretty intense. Like when she goes places and interacts with houses and stuff, it's a very intense experience for her. Um, so what they do is like the cop and the medium kind of split off and they do their own research. So the cop will do research, like looking in the records and seeing if there's anything in the newspapers, kind of stuff like that, traditional kind of research. And then she goes and does hers with the house. And then they come together um, to meet with the client and they share their discoveries. Um, and then they also do this fun part where <laughs> they have like a sketch artist sketch, like what the medium has seen. Right. So she starts like explaining that this a specific spirit looks like or something. And uh, some of them are like so creepy but sometimes they get a really, <laughs> like a really bad sketch artist that it's kind of hilarious and funny. Um, but it's it's fun, it's super fun. And there's like 13 seasons or something. So you should definitely check it out. So where did everyone get to? Did you guys get past Chapter six. Something lateral in, in investing. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe, possibly. It sounds like it could be a thing. I thought your tattoo was your shirt the whole time. Yeah, it, yeah. The lighting is not the best, but thank you. Yeah, had it for a long time. It was very painful to get. Um, <laughs> if you if you want to get a tattoo and you don't like pain, not here. I've had the Carol Haunt for over a year now, and have not touched it. I have read several of hers, but not this one. This has made me pick it up. This is so fun. Thanks for doing this. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, I think this is one of those things that's just like a good excuse to read. I I think, like, there's been a few times where I read some weird book, <laughs> books that I would never read, you know, that they weren't really my cup of tea, but it was still like, oh, this was just really fun. Like, I actually had to sit down and just read for a bit. And, you know, that was really good because I have a really hard time doing that lately. <laughs> Yeah, 13 seasons. <laughs> yeah, the haunted animals, celebrity ghost stories, um, haunted. The, there's so many from like the mid 2000s. It was like that was like the golden era of like paranormal shows, like ghost adventures, ghost hunters. Um, <laughs> just so many of them. Okay, chapter 13. Yeah, okay. Because I know that you had kind of read a few pages already. So like, I think like, so, well, you're already on chapter 13. But like, this guy, I already forgot his name now. Was it Michael? <laughs> it was so, Mark. <laughs> Mark. Okay. Um, yeah, when I was first reading that, I was like, Mark. Sounds very suspicious to me. <laughs> and I like how she describes him as like a, like a slender cat. <laughs> it is the Halloween season, so you're going to like it. 
I'm on chapter six. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like he has all this money. They're going to be investigating. It's very exciting, right? And that's why like Dead Files is kind of like a perfect combo with this. <laughs> it's almost like the same thing. Good night. Yeah, it's it's 1 a.m. for me right now, but I'm not really tired. Okay, yes. So it's like, this is where like some, yeah, I felt the same way. And I was kind of like, if you don't need the money, you know, like, well, why else, you know, would you do it? And I feel like she ha she definitely has this kind of weird relationship with the house. Like it kind of freaks her out, but she's very fascinated by it. So maybe it's like just her fear you know, the house or whatever, but still it's like, you got some dude coming in there being like, I want to pay you to spend two weeks with me. <laughs> just, I don't know. Ghost Hunters, <laughs> Ghost Hunters was fun until like it became his own parody of itself. You know, it, it was like Zach. <laughs> Zach is just so ridiculous. <laughs> but in the beginning, it was good. It was so good. Even knowing more people here are, blah, 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 I can't talk anymore. It's, yes, even knowing more people are there that she doesn't know. Yeah, and like she doesn't really know the whole thing about it. And it's like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I would do in that situation because I kind of feel like if I was creeped out of a house, that wouldn't stop me. Nah, not really. The only thing that would stop me is if like I got a weird vibe from him, and then I'd be. I'd be like, nah, no way, never mind, you know. But I think it's funny that she like, <laughs> after working as her as a tour host, she goes to a cafe <laughs> and she just sits there in like all of this Victorian black garb, eating a donut or something. <laughs> it's like really funny. I like her though. She has a good sense of humor. So what else do you guys think? You guys think that Mark is going to turn out to be a cool dude or? Because <laughs> I already read it. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't let common sense get in the way of a good time. It was well, kind of funny too because like she berates herself a little bit, right? So she's like, "Oh, you know, um, when did I get so boring?" And it's like, "Oh, this is not like going, you know, I don't know, like like sailing or parachuting or something." You know, it's like <laughs> you have some millionaire offering you a lot of money to stay in a place that scares you, you know, but. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't say anymore. <laughs> I don't think he will. He will summon something or be recreation at Medgar. Ooh. That's good. That's a good, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> not assumption, but you know, when you like see into something, my brain is just not working right now, but that's really good. I'm not, yeah. Hmm. Schmod. I think it's funny that the the driver just like peels out and peels in like when he comes to get everybody it's like you can't even like get away from their fast though. <laughs> it seems if it seems too good to be true it probably is. Mark is kind of sus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely there's, a, there's definitely something that he wants 
And it has to be more than just like he wants to know about the history of the house or something. There has to be more than what meets the eye for sure. Yeah. I feel like the, these are like the, these moments like when you're watching a horror movie and you're seeing someone doing something stupid and you're just like, don't do it. <laughs> but then if they don't do it, there's no story. So <laughs> you know, like, what do you do with that? You know? I really want this job though. I mean, that, that would be like my dream, like an excuse to wear Edwardian clothing and then be in a spooky place like all day long. Uh, be a little bit of a vaudevillian creature and tell people stories like that would be so great. I would love to do that. It's probably not the economy for that anymore, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so is. It's a little bit like Disneyland, but like gothy, I guess, or spooky. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have a question for you guys. Apparently, people listen to audiobooks sped up. I did not know that people did this. I tried to do that um, with that book, Hide. I'm kind of listening to that on audio Audible right now. I, it just sounds too distorted to me. Like, I can't, I can't handle it. But apparently, like, a lot of people do it, and, like, on pretty fast, too, pretty fast speed as well. I said I wasn't tired, but I'm getting a little tired now. <laughs> and I feel like I'm looking at this through StreamYard, but I feel like the messages take really long to come in. I know some YouTubers do that when with their videos to save time when they edit. You mean, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. You mean about the, about the messages being slow or about the audible speed? Sorry. Try 1.2 for a while and then 1.3. To two times, really? Oh my god, but then it it's like many mouses talking. <laughs> I can't listen to it faster than one and a half. I'll listen to it faster. I'll listen to it faster than that. I have to be reading the book along with it so I can keep up with what they are saying. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't, oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I've seen some people do this, um, and I, tr I tried to do it on one of my videos, because, like, there was this day, I don't know, I was just tired or something, and I, I felt like I was talking really slow, so I just wanted to see what it would sound like, but I, it didn't sound good to me, um, 
but I kind of do appreciate it on other people's videos. I, I, I like the fast tempo myself. You get used to it gradually. Yeah. I, I, uh, I still, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll try it. I'll try it. I mean, I don't, I don't even, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know with my brain. I don't know if it can really focus like that. Like it's, it's, it's kind of hard. Like I get distracted so easily that if it's going too fast, it's going to be like, like just going and going and that's it. Like I'll never be able to catch it again. Like that's how I'll feel at least. <laughs> It doesn't sound natural though to have the audible sped up really high. I can't get lost in the book with people sounding so distorted. That's how I feel too. Like I, as long as I like the voice of the narrator, um, I want to, I want to hear it, you know, like I want to be lost in that voice or, or whatever. But if I don't like the voice, it doesn't matter if I speed it up. I'm, I'm not going to, I feel like I'm not going to want to hear it or listen to it anyway. Vampire list dot. It sounds cool with the French accent. Sped up? Really? <laughs> That's interesting. Thanks, Anthony. I appreciate it. I have to rewind listening to Audible. Speeding it up would compound that problem. Yeah, I'm I'm a rewinder. I'm like, a, oh, I zoned out for a minute. I got to go back, you know? Um, <laughs> so I, yeah, same. How dare you? How dare you have typos? <laughs> I am a living typo. Like I make so many typos. You mean like listening to it and reading and reading it at the same time? Yeah, I can imagine that probably makes more sense because you're you're sort of reading it in your head. So maybe I don't know. Like it just seems like it would make more sense. But that's wild to me. I never even knew that people did that. That's so, so crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Forever. This <laughs> is forever there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. But that's kind of how I feel about the live. It's like, I'm like, oh, I, I'm such a, like, I can become, like, very, like, insecure and, like, lose my confidence um, easily. And I was like, I don't know if I could do it, you know? So, like, being able to just film it and edit it, like, going back to Discord and editing your comment to make it be how you wanted it to be, you know? Oh, thank you so much. I was trying to like think maybe I should do ASMR too, like whispering kind of stuff. But I was like, I don't need another channel. <laughs> I can barely, I'm barely get it keeping it together right now because of my my work. I'm struggling because um I'm doing videos for them too. And it's it's so hard. But I'm trying to figure it out, but it's taking me a minute. I listen and read keeps me from getting distracted. Yeah, um, maybe I should try that because I get easily distracted. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly, but it's done. There's nothing that can be done with it. Um, but... Yeah, 
Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I definitely feel so, it's kind of weird to talk to people and you like can't hear them back. But like there's a camera on your face and you're like, <laughs> it's a little weird. So thank you. I, I have to listen to a lot of ASMR actually. There's this channel called Atmosphere and this woman, this beautiful woman, she does these amazing productions. I mean, and they're like, she does them where like she's in space or she's an elf and or whatever. And she has an amazing voice. She has some kind of accent. I'm not even sure what it is, but it's amazing. It's so cool. And her production value is so high. Like she has all of the CGI. It looks really, really good. And I listen to her stuff like crazy. It's the only way that I can really get to sleep at night. So I definitely have like a real, real soft spot for the ASMR stuff. Reading and listening to it at the same time distracts me too much. I am either staying at her level of reading and not paying attention or vice versa. Yeah, I can see that. That that probably like something that I might get caught up to, like just trying to like keep up with the speed. Um, so then I start getting into that like rhythm, but I'm not really being actively present and, and like reading the story. Does that make sense? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I can't, I want to, I, <laughs> there was one project that I was going to do where I was going to narrate this friend of mine's book, but it just kind of like, I don't know, communication kind of broke down. So it didn't really happen. I was really bummed out about that, but I don't know, maybe, maybe Amy will let me, Amy McCall will let me <laughs> narrate her book <laughs> if I pester her enough. <laughs> So are you guys liking this then? You, you want to keep reading it? Is it feeling good to you guys? Because um, I'm enjoying rereading re it for sure. The music you play while reading sounds like the music from the True Fear Forsaken Souls video games. Um, that's a mo they Was that ported for mobile? as well, because I feel like I played the mobile versions, but might have been something else. Maybe it was a hidden object object game or something. But yeah, it definitely sounds like those type of games. And I love those games. I love those games so much. I actually just <laughs> yesterday I live streamed me playing Inscription on Instagram. And I just did it on a whim. And I beat that game in like one one play and I have been playing it for like a week and just been getting my ass kicked. And then I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened, but it's not interesting. It's just like a sigil that I got and the sigil like totally made everything easy for me. Um, but I beat that game and it was like the best moment of my life but I didn't have anyone to tell it to really. I was just telling my boyfriend about it. <laughs> it was, it's great. Anyway, that game, if you haven't played that, you should definitely play that game. Further along in the book, she decided to turn me into a character. <laughs> is there a Bernard? There is a Bernard, right? Yeah, there is a Bernard. <laughs> There's never a Merce, you know? I'm enjoying it. I'm going to continue to read it. Awesome. I'm loving it. Giving me ghost adventure vibes. Yeah, it's definitely ghost adventure vibes. I came in too late, only got to chapter two, but yeah, this is so cool. Yeah, I I, I feel like this book starts off so good. Like, I, it just everything about it is just so fun. In the beginning, it's like... I think so, they're hidden object point-and-click horror games. Yeah, <laughs> I love those. 
I love those so much. I play so much, so many of them. I don't know. They're like my my Zen games, you know. Also, there's another game that I'm playing right now that oh, Help High. I'm playing Help High, which is like a 3D platformer, but the it, the setting is cool. Okay, it's like you play this little devil. It's like a little like little tiny guy with like a a ram skull. And you have an angel that's tethered to you and you use this angel as like a, it's like a, like a, what do you call that? Like a grappling hook. And you have to go down into the seven layers of hell and then get all of these gross, disgusting ingredients to make a pie for Satan. <laughs> it's so good. And it's so hard and it's killing me. <laughs> The apartment is, um, it's getting there, but it's not there. And everything's still kind of a, a it's, it's like all in transition. So it's just been really hard lately. <sighs> but eventually, eventually we'll get there. We have concrete walls, so it's really hard to drill into them. And we have no lamps in here besides like, we have like a few like, like, um, like desk lamps and stuff and I have like obviously my camera lights or whatever but we don't have any lamps in the ceiling because they're all you know when you move into a German apartment there's no you don't you don't get an apartment with like everything installed like cupboards and then appliances and stuff like that you have to bring all your own stuff so we haven't been able to attach any lights because <laughs> They just, we can't find a way to connect them. We got lamps from Ikea. They don't fit. And uh, I love the dark, but um, kind of need the light, you know, <laughs> for, for like doing stuff or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It's really fun. Um, it's It's deceptively... It seems like it's easy because killing enemies are like super easy, but the like the like the platforming aspect of it is like so hard. It's so hard. And there are these levels where you get taken into these other dimensions and it's the I must have died like 40, 50 times before I made it over like three days. Cause sometimes I'll just rage quit, you know, like <laughs> after dying like five times and then, you know, other times maybe I'll play a little more, but it's deceptively hard and it does feel like hell because <laughs> you have to like constantly just keep replaying. Um, you know, it's whatever. Anyway, I'm playing a lot of video games right now. <laughs> Yeah, it is rough. <laughs> I'm not like the best player, you know. I'm good at some things, some things I'm not so good at, but that that game is um makes me so mad. Like my boyfriend's like, you're just yelling all the time when you're playing it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alice the Madison Returns is definitely my it's up there. It's it's up there. It's that is such a good game. And I actually just got it. Um, I ordered this amazing um, artwork from American McGee. And it's Alice. Um, it's not Alice and Madness Returns. It's just sort of like, I don't know. I, I don't really know. Like, it's not supposed to be specifically from any one of his games, but it's Alice and she's like in a living room and the living room is too small. And you, there's all these like, you know, kind of cool things on the wall, like whatever. I'll take a picture of it. It's so cool. I can't wait to hang it up and frame it. And he signed it. 
I'm also a member of their Patreon too. So like I'm trying to help, you know, as much as I can to get that Alice Asylum game out. <laughs> and I did also buy some like Alice the Madness Return pins, but they did not arrive. I was very upset. So that's that's shipping in Germany. Sometimes it arrives, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, true fear is fun. I love hidden object games. I think they're kind of like a... Not undervalued, but... You know, I don't know. I, I just think they're special. I want to make... I want to make one. One day. I mean, I do work at a company where, you know, we are... A, a mobile dev, like a mo game, gaming mobile dev. So maybe I convince them I can do one in the future. And of course, you know, it's going to be about cemeteries. I wanted to do one where you just take care of a cemetery. And while you're there as the caretaker, you get to meet ghosts and you take care of graves and you plant flowers and like stuff like that. So I thought it would be, you know, kind of fun to do something like that. We'll see. Made of Skr. No. Is that a mobile game or is it a, a PC game? It sounds a little familiar though. I don't Or maybe I'm thinking about there's that other one. What's it called? I had another like Norse like Scandinavian like kind of name. And it was all like it was all like live action, like all of the characters were captured, you know, live action. God, I can't remember what it was called. I don't think Ryan is here anymore because I think he would know. He liked that game. I've been playing a lot of haunted house games, but they're sort of like all the same, you know? It's like you get this haunted house, you go in there, and then you get like, I don't know, a million different jump scares from some stupid monster or something. And I'm just like, that's not scary. <laughs> but then I played The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Really good, really creepy, really unsettling. There is an aspect in there they don't handle well. It's like a there's a relationship between a 16 year old girl and like a 40 year old dude or something. And they did not handle that well, <laughs> but the rest of the game was really good. Edwardian you say, okay, I'm going to look that up on steam. Cause I'm kind of looking for, another game. Hell Pie is going to be a lifelong achievement for me, I guess. <laughs> the only downside to true fear of Forsaken Souls is it's supposed to be a trilogy, but only the first two parts are out. It's been three years. That's part two. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> Scorn's coming out though this month. I'm so stoked for that. So stoked. Scorn is going to be good. This it's everything I like. A puzzler, it's an exploratory game. It's like it's low combat, you know, like you're not really doing a lot of fighting. It's just more of an experience and like exploring type thing. And it's all Giger-esque. Let's love it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay. So you know that game that was like, it was sort of like Scandinavian, sort of Norse or something, but it was like that chick with like the blue face paint and it was like a live action. Like they, they captured everything and it was like crazy realistic. And the first game was more cinematic. Uh, wasn't really like a lot of gameplay, but they came out with the second one and that one looked like it was like more, like there's actual more gameplay in it. You remember what it is? I'll let you think on that. <laughs> yeah. And not only is, is it like Giger-esque and like Bikinski-esque and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Um, so the they, the narrator they got for their trailer is the same actor who was Pinhead from um why is my brain doing this to me you know what i'm talking about right um oh yeah hellblade that's that's the game i'm talking about um hellblade senua's sacrifice okay so it's not very norse but whatever <laughs> doug bradley yeah yeah um so he he narrated the trailer which is so cool and then um, there's a really awesome musician, techno musician, who's doing the soundtrack, whose name I can't remember right now either, because obviously my brain cells are dead. Um, but anyway, the game just looks so cool, so amazing. And with Hellblade, was, the first Hellblade was interesting, because it was like kind of new at that time for the way they were doing it. Um, but it was more cinematic. And the second one is like, it's definitely more gameplay. And it looks, it looks, it look, I didn't get to play it, but it, it looks real heavy, real heavy, real deep. It looks really good. <laughs> then I was playing this game, um, Into the Dead 2. It's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, you can like play Netflix games. And Into the Dead 2 has a Ghostbusters story. <laughs> and so you you play the Ghostbusters story and you're like you're like tagging along with the guys from Ghostbusters, like you know, Bill Murray and stuff. And they really did a pretty good job at like replicating their voices and like animating them um, to be sort of familiar to their characters. And it's kind of silly and funny and cheesy, but I was like, that's cool. I'm into that. <laughs> Yeah, this is supposed to be a book hour and talking about video games. <laughs> uh, one thing that was cool was that Adam Neville reached out to me and was going to send me his new book. But it didn't arrive. And I'm sure that's the German post. And it takes everything in my soul not to just light everything on fire because <laughs> of that. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tired now, but I want to make it until two. That was my, that was my goal. Yeah, me too. And I do not want to tell him that the book didn't make it. I'll just, I'll just go buy it. Like, I just, I don't want to tell him it did make it. Paul's books and movies is blocked? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that um, channel. 
Um, I don't have anyone blocked on StreamYard. I'll look it up and I'll see if there's like something weird about it afterwards, but not on purpose. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm. No, I mean, not, not off the top of my head, but I don't really have anyone blocked. So, but I, I can check and see if there's like something weird that's going on. Is he trying to come on and he can't get in or something? Cause it's just really weird. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming, Christy. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I feel bad. I don't want someone thinking that I want them. Because I definitely didn't. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let me check the um the YouTube link once again. It might sound kind of weird though, I don't know. It might have a little bit of feedback, but I might just do it. Yeah, I don't see, I'm trying to add him in here and I don't, it's not um, pulling up his name. Did he send me a message on Instagram? Okay, I see him in my messages, but okay, well, I'll message Paul in like a few minutes. I see his message here, but it was in my requests. Um, so I'll message him and I'll find out what's going on with that.
Um, I'm still reading Ash. Um, by um, I can't remember right now. Um, but I'm thinking about something else. Um, reading Ash. I'm not really loving it. I started listening to Hyde on Audible. Not really loving that either. Um, I did get Devil's Creek on Audible, but I didn't really like the narrator's voice. So I haven't been listening to that and just honestly haven't really been reading too much. Um, um, so I don't know. It, it's been hard for me, honestly, lately, just with work um, and everything in the apartment. It's like, I just feel like I don't have the energy to read. That's why today I was really excited because I was like, oh, I just really have to sit down and make some time to read. And I just was really happy about doing that. <coughs> Thanks, Ryan. Good night. Hey, no bother. Don't worry about it. Um, I do feel really bad because <laughs> I don't think I blocked him for any reason. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, check in with him. Thank you. <sighs> Oops. All right, guys. Um, it's almost 2 a.m. here, so I think I am going to head out. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out and reading with us and chatting. I really appreciate it. It was fun. It was an awesome thing for me to do because I need to be reading more. <laughs> and I'll make a post in the community tab about doing another one. So if you guys want to keep on reading and doing this type of thing, uh, we can definitely do it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.